the real research of hyperbolic space? What, what are mathematicians like you actually doing? So what we're usually interested in is modeling um, manifolds with hyperbolic geometry. So in the simplest case, this is a surface. So you can put a Euclidean geometry on a torus and you just take a square and you glue this side to this side and that side to that side and it turns out it's a torus or what you might call a donut. And sometimes it's easier to see this if you go backwards. So if you took a torus and you first cut it along that circle, it would open it up and you'd have something like this and this guy would look like that and if you cut along that and unfolded it you would have a sheet of paper. Actually one of the nice things about the field of hyperbolic geometry is a lot of the long-standing conjectures in the field are actually recently solved in the last 10 years. So one thing we've been able to do, we study, so the, what this is leading to is the discussion of geometries on surfaces and what are there all the different, geom different kinds of either hyperbolic or Euclidean geometries you can have on a given surface. And I work largely in three dimensions, and so one of the things that was recently done was we classified what all possible three-dimensional hyperbolic manifolds would look like. How many were there? Uh, well, there's uncountably many, in fact, yeah. So there's entire deformation spaces of them, which, were, which are quite large. And these deformation spaces of the surfaces, for instance, come up a lot in string theory and physics. And there's something that's come up in a lot of different places in mathematics, algebraic geometry, for instance. If you don't mind watching a bit of sport, you were telling me earlier, when you're sitting back on the sofa or at a sports stadium watching a game, does your mind and brain ever wander off into hyperbolic space, or do you, you're pretty firmly in Euclidean at the game, or do you do daydream? Well, it depends how good the game is, doesn't it? <laughs> I think we've all been to, uh, into, been to, been to a game where we, where we uh, lost track and we're thinking about something else. So certainly occasionally I might be thinking about mathematics while I'm at a, at a sporting event. If it was hyperbolic versus Euclidean, which is more interesting? Which is more fun? Well, of course I'm biased, but I would say hyperbolic. But one piece of evidence for this, if you're looking at sort of surfaces you can build in R3, you can build the sphere. Boop, boop, boop. That naturally has spherical geometry. You can make a donut with one hole. That's naturally Euclidean. We just did that picture over here. And then if you do all these other surfaces, there's a surface with two holes, a surface with three holes. You can imagine pretzels with arbitrarily many holes. All these guys don't admit Euclidean geometries, but they do admit hyperbolic geometry. So you've got one surface for spherical, one surface for Euclidean, infinitely many surfaces for, for hyperbolic, which I guess makes hyperbolic infinitely better. All right, cool, cool. <laughs>